please like and subscribe if you enjoy the video. Let's just jump right in with the best in slot for a cold source. And unlike Ashuda's, it's a true boost in damage. It rolled 28 out of 30 cold damage, which could have been 15, and the resistance it rolled is good. In the same run, we get this skiller from the gold chest in level 2, and the of balance suffix is always useful. This is a really nice roll overall. What makes this item the most useful though is that it's the only unique guitar with all resistances. Later in the run I find this unique pelt, which is pretty rare, but it turns out poorly, but added style points for being ethereal. This is the rarest elite shield in the game, and its defensive properties, like casting fade in the high res, make it somewhat usable. Snow Clash has the lowest drop rate out of all the unique belts. I was pumped when this dropped. This of course is one of the best weapons for a bow is on, and it's my personal favorite. It's the rarest bow drop in the game. Wind Force also has the highest possible max damage of any bow. Here's some people's favorite mercenary pole arm. A lot of it comes down to preference. And I put it in the cube and I get lucky with four open sockets. A goal is the highest rune I found in these runs, and my first nice rune from a chest. The odds of this are insane, but here is wind force number two. This one is perfect as well, with the eight mana leech. It's definitely not the most useful, but here is the rarest unique Barbarian Helm. Go ahead and just slap this on any character and enjoy the highest damage reduction item in the game. This roll happens to be absolutely horrible, but it's always fun to find a Durials in my opinion. The best small charm I found in the runs, perfect poison resistance. Apparently the pits is the best place to find good mercenary ethereal pole arms. This one however gives me 5 sockets. Really not that useful, but at the end of the day a skiller is a skiller. The last of the elite ethereal pole arms that I find, no need to cube this one as it's guaranteed 4 sockets from Larzuk. Somehow this is my first Lenny Mo. I was actually kind of happy to find it. It's actually kind of rare for a normal belt. My favorite drop would be if you liked and subscribed. Thanks for watching.